What's up guys, Zanza here. A few days ago, I ended up posting this deck on the community page on the YouTube channel, basically talking about how transactional rollback and then this card, Ghost Meets Girl, ends up screwing over a lot of different decks if you end up going first. So thanks to LumeYGO for giving me the inspiration of the deck. Originally, I had thought of making this deck with Bestio, so, you know, level six monsters. But then I found, you know what, we don't even need them. We just need our good boy, DD Dog, who happens to be a level six monster with two really good effects that I think would uh, end up trumping Bestio since you actually need your opponent to do their thing. Um, but unfortunately, we don't really run enough Bestio or branded cards to really utilize the Bestio cards that well. So forgot about him. DD Dog is in. And for those of you guys who don't know, Transaction Rollback has been added to Master Duel last week. It is an amazing kind of broken trap card that really shouldn't be there, especially in a one round format, but I digress. For those of you guys who don't know, you can, when it, you set it on the field, you can pay half your life points, target a normal trap card in your opponent's graveyard, and then this card becomes the activated effect of that card. Essentially, basically saying that you don't have to activate card effects of that card to actually end up using it. And then the number one thing that folks are going to be using this card for is the graveyard effect, which is the same exact thing, except of your opponent's graveyard, you end up choosing a card in your own graveyard. So combine that alongside Beatrice, Lady of Eternal, which quick effect lets you send one card from your deck to the graveyard, meaning during your turn, you set either transactional rollback or ghost meets girl to the graveyard. And then during your opponent's draw phase, you send the other card and then immediately activate, pay half your life points, and then boom, your opponent and technically yourself, you cannot North special summon from the hand deck or extra deck of that turn. This is a pretty good combo, especially if you end up going first. I ended up playing a lot of different test hands and ended up going in master duo and making the deck there too kind of improving it alongside. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show some basic combos that I tried to come up with in Edo, and then we're gonna see how it actually played in Master Duel. For these replays, I ended up not going to custom hands because that's not really realistic enough. So what I tried to do is just go a few opening hands and then try to see if I can actually make the combos going first. And so as you can see, thankfully DDD can pull it off thanks to DD Dog in this hand. We can go ahead and summon these two and then summon dog, go into dog into Beatrice. Beatrice sends uh, transactional and then we pop off into the standard um, play. I didn't do the play correctly here uh, because I unfortunately missed adding uh, the, the uh, Cerberus to the deck so I couldn't go off completely, but you can basically see the uh, general combo here as we were able to pull it off. Same thing for this next combo. I didn't really have much going for me, so instead, Let's see what we ended up doing here. We threw that in there. Going for Swamp, Fusion Summon. Now I can go into these two. Go into Beatrice and then go into the standard play. The reason why I ended up doing it this way is just to show that you can do it in multiple different ways, but also because we ended up having Dark Contract with the Swamp King. Swamp King lets us pop off on the next turn now that we draw our next card and can continue to pop off from there. For this third opening hand, I ended up drawing the trap card, so unfortunately we couldn't really pull up the combo on the more proper way that we wanted to do it, so I had to get creative. The basic idea is to still go into Beatrice and then send Transaction to the graveyard, pop off into regular uh, DDD plays, and then activate Gangish and kind of pop off from there. Unfortunately, I missed adding the rank 4 Caesar, so I couldn't go off normally, but as you can see, I was able to use Orthros. I would have used Orthros on Gengish, I mean on, on uh, King Teller and then to pop off from there, but then I really wasn't able to in this kind of combo, but you get the idea. For reference, this is the updated deck I came up with after those three test hands. After updating that deck, and this is the actual combo that I ended up going with. If I ended up going first, assuming I have no uh, additional cards to worry about on the opponent's side, meaning like their hand traps, their ashes and so on and so forth so i got pretty much all cards in dd so i was able to pop off completely dog has really come and come to its own in this type of deck i mean you can just see that i can do everything that i want to do in this deck i even got an ash blossom just because i noticed that while making this replay that dd dog is more essential than what i initially thought simply because after i get beatrice I can go ahead and make a play like this. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to summon Siegfried in this combo, but you guys pretty much get the idea of what this deck can be like, assuming we have no interruptions to worry about. Let me know what you guys think of this TCG version of this deck. On next, we're actually going to go into Master Duel. The Master Duel version of this deck is just basically going to end up including Maxi and end up throwing the Triple Tactics talent just because I see it as a no way that we can bloop about it in Master Duel being a one round format. I ended up throwing Lamia into the deck just so that I can have a little bit more variety. 45 cards seems a lot, especially because the last deck that I showed was around 40, 45 as well. But again, one round format basically requires you to be a little bit more flexible. So we threw in the Thomas, Thomas and uh, the additional cards that uh, we normally would have in a DDD deck just to make it up to 50 because the shuffle for whatever reason doesn't really like decks like that have a lot of uh, multiple copies of the same card in here. So we're going to potentially draw into the one of cards. And during the editing of the deck, I was just trying to see what other three cards I can throw in. And um, I just wanted to throw in as much royal finishes as I possibly could. So I looked through the options that I had. I ended up deleting a lot of the extra ones that I had that I just didn't need or will ever use because they weren't really for my archetype. So triple tactics, I ended up throwing it in there and I noticed that I only had two, so I had to go ahead and craft it. But anyway, this is the final version of the DDD deck for transaction plays. And I'm just going to end up showing the rest of the replays, um, showing to see if I can even actually pull it off or not. As Mike Tyson once said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. So with that being said, that's the reason why I ended up making the deck from 40 to 45 and then 50, especially for Master Duel. I just wanted to make sure that I had more options rather than just rely solely on the combo that we're trying to do here. So I hope you guys do the same thing and remember that the, the like other decks similar to it, like Heroes and even Black Wings, we are a toolbox and not enough people are using it as such. So hopefully this type of replays end up kind of opening your mind into what little things we can do. And if we have cool combos, like even the Kali Yuga Turbo is not unbeatable if you don't go first or, even, or if they disrupt it. That's why, again, use the deck as a toolbox. But enough about me talking. Let's just actually go with the replays and let me know how you guys like the deck.